Yo, man, it's Karma Tap the fuck in. I'm with High Thoughts TV, about to do the personal suite. You heard me, man? Little Karma 500 hole on the game, bitch. Our shit, like, my partner's my, my, my day one nigga, and then my brother. It was like, it was always Lil Wayne for sure. Lil Wayne, I just feel like that's a part of everybody. Like, I feel like he's just a part of everybody. That nigga's just a, what's a good word for it? Like, like a goat for shit show, but it, I feel like he surpassed that. Like, uh, it's I know the word, I know the word, but like, uh, not a legend though, but like he passed that, you know what I'm saying? But he just made like a marker in everybody's life, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like no matter like with his music coming out, I feel like everybody listen to it. So yeah, at one point, I mean, yeah, I was on that Wayne wave, bro. I was listening to Wayne and then uh, Chance the Rapper, Chance, Chance the Rapper, yeah, yeah, like. The old chance though, like hey, the whole Ashy Rap album, yeah. Me and my brother know that whole word for word, like, cause it's different. That nigga Chance the Rapper, nigga, he a legend, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, like, you know, I listen to everything to a deal. Niggas wouldn't even know. I get, I get drunk, nigga. I like to listen to a deal. Tell you shit, like, I listen to everything. You know, my mom like country, and my grandpa like, uh, like cumbias, like, not cumbias, uh, Puerto Rican music. I don't know what they call it. It's something like that. I don't know. I'm high as hell. But he listens because, you know, his Mexican music is cumbias and Puerto Rican. I forgot what it's called. But they have, like, a different type. I don't know, but it's Puerto Rican music. You'll, you'll know the difference. Like, Bad Bunny? Yeah, yeah. Like, that yeah, culture. Yeah. That culture. Like, Bad Bunny. Like, that's Puerto Rican. Like, well, like, damn. Yeah. That culture. I, I don't know what they would call it in Spanish. But, yeah. So, and then, oh, no way. My mom really liked Eminem, too. So, I always listen to Eminem. Growing up, too. Like, so, like, I was, like, 8, 9, 10. I don't know where to Colorado go see family. Nigga, whole album, my mama have that whole on play. Eminem. So I be singing that shit with her. So like, yeah, Eminem too. So like two really like, that's why with my music, I play with my words. I have a lot of wordplay. You know what I'm saying? Like throw some different shit in there. Definitely No Hook. Cause like No Hook, when I did that, when I did No Hook, I did that shit on house arrest on monitor. I, I still had to go to court like a week after that. So I dropped that bitch right before I went to court. So, cause I didn't know if I was gonna get locked up. And I was, that whole like, because I wrote that shit in jail facing that five to 99 years. So like, I wrote that whole like, I hope someone hear this shit type of shit. Like nigga, and they, they heard it. And once it really did like, started doing the way it was doing, I just kept up with it. I backed door and like, I just, you know, I had a lot of influences in front of me too. Like to show me like I was really a rapper. At that point, a lot of people knew my name. Like I was going places taking pictures with people. So I knew. I already was doing that, like people was notarized, noticing me when I go report a monitor to go see, you know, yeah. yeah, bro, like, so I knew, like, yo, like, I'm doing something, and also, like, I just fell in love with it, too. I've been working on this project for a brick, a minute now, because, like, I've been kept saying I'm finna drop it, but I kept going to jail. I went to jail, like, two or three times during that whole process, so kind of, like, especially when I go to jail, every time, it fucks with my head, you know what I'm saying? It make me not. Like, I kind of, like, I just get mad. I get pissed off, so I kind of just sit back, you know, and then reevaluate and then execute. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to do it instead of coming out of jail and crashing out. So, like, every time I go to jail, though, I work on music. So, like, I put songs together and what I think. So, finally, I finally got all the songs I want to put on it together because, like, I put some real thought behind it. I don't want to just, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I feel like I only been rapping a year, so that's, like, a good point. Like, I had to drag it out a little bit because I feel like I was going to drop one too early. You know what I'm saying? I, I really built up, I built my name up off of four songs down here. So like, I hope this tape do good. I know it finna do good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I got some serious shit on there. Like I feel like No Hook Part 2 harder than No Hook 1. Yeah, so that shit, when I, and I recorded that shit in Atlanta. I'ma say this right now though. I got the drill rap with San Antonio, that's me. I did that. I'm the only one down here on some drill shit. Like. You know what I'm saying? And like same with this nigga right here, too. Hood, he made his own way. He made his own like laying his own like sound too. So I ain't never heard this before. I don't even know like how this even say it's just hard. It's just mixed up, it's different. Like me, I took like like I brought drill shit down here. I got some like little dirt, you know what I'm saying? King Vaughn type music, like like drill shit, brought that shit down here. So that's one thing I'm gonna say, is I got that drill shit on lock, man. Yeah, yeah. But no, I feel like everybody in their own kind of group. I feel like everybody fuck with certain people. And everybody do this, you know, like one way, you go that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we can communicate. You can communicate with the other side. Like, everybody down here has a group. I noticed that. Like, 
especially when it comes to artists. Everybody has their own group, and that's how you got to move. You can't just be bringing in new people. You know what I'm saying? So the people that you came down with, like came up with, you've been doing this shit with for a couple, like I want to say like a good at least a year or two. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wasn't really kicking it like that, then it's probably not going to last because you're just not what you're used to. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you know what I'm saying? So like what you're used to is where you're going to be at. Down here, everybody choose their side. So that's why they stay with their main homies. That's what they used to. Oh man, I just went back to jail. Yeah. yeah. My nigga, my nigga Raul had just got out of jail. Or out of the feds, actually, from Mexico. And um, I, we, I went to go see him, you know what I'm saying? We, you know we drinking, your dog just came home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drinking a little bit, but not like that. I only had like one beer, you feel me? And uh, I'm driving, you know what I'm saying? I'm going home and shit, I shit on my niggas all night. I'm going home like four in the morning. And I just see this cop following me on the highway. They say he's just following me. And he lights me up. I'm like, damn. So I pull over, but you know what I'm saying? They found a gun in the car when they pulled me over, but it wasn't my gun. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know that shit was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They found a gun in the car. And I was like, damn. They asked me whose gun it was, and I was like, shit, I don't know. Uh, I hit him with that shit. I was like, hey, my girl, she got, I use this car, she got a lot of boyfriends. I don't know yeah. shit. The fuck are you talking about? Anybody could put that shit there. I don't know who put that shit there. That's how you gotta be, though. I don't know who put that bitch there. Yeah. That, yeah. As far as that, as far as we know, that shit, nigga, it, 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 I ain't put that bitch there. You know what I'm saying? So like, that was a, you know what I'm saying? That was like the quickest thing like came to my mind. Like, nigga, I ain't finna snitch on nobody. I don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, bro. So I went to jail for that shit. And you know, now I'm like still on the case and everything. Uh, yeah, this monitor though, it been dead for like two weeks. I think I think I got a warrant right now, but it's a long story behind that shit though, cause I'm getting this lawyer first before I go to jail. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? I'ma line everything everything up. You feel yeah. me? Good and bad. Good and bad. Like this COVID shit really turned me up in the same way. It didn't turn me down. It just really put a hold on the shows. But now we finally got one coming up. You know what I'm saying? So it really put a hold on the show. Yeah, so that's something that fuck with, but like it's gave me a time to lock in the studio longer, take that shit more serious, work on my art, and just stay at the crib, work on this shit, hear different beats, you know, do different shit. You feel me? So, yeah, um, I feel like it turned me up. If anything, it ain't put me in no like bad position. Oh yeah, we got the show, the Field Face, on November eighth. That's my first real show I'm doing. It's like. And I'm headlining that bitch. Say, yeah, yeah, I'm headlining the show. I'm coming out less. It's gonna be a big ass event. I feel like it's gonna be like the biggest like show of this year. For sure. We're gonna close out 2020 with a bang. I signed recently with WBC. Uh those are the AR managers I met down there. They work with big artists, you know what I'm saying? So they based out of New York. So yeah, they actually coming to the show. You feel me? So they was based out of it. So they coming, I signed my first deal at 19 in a year. Straight up. So like I'm blessed, it's a blessing. And this really where I be working at. You know, my nigga Pip Boy, I be pulling up with my nigga Pip Boy. I love you, Pip Boy. I L Y Pip Boy. You feel me? Tap the fuck in with my nigga. That's my dog. We be recording here. Now you know what I'm saying? Hey, but I'ma tell y'all niggas right here, this nigga, young CEO. Straight up. He put this shit together, you know, for New Braunfels. We about to bring one to the city, another baby ride studio soon. That's how this movement gonna be going oh, crazy, man. Oh. Big CEO shit, my nigga really holding it down out here. Yeah, we got a whole lot of shit in the works, man. Karma's actually headlining one of our first events at Baby Rock Studios is presenting to y'all in San Antonio, Texas, man. No Rules Fuel Fest event. That shit finna go crazy. We finna have about 500 people out there. All outdoors event, man. Karma's gonna shut that shit down, bro. We've been just been in here pretty much just working all the time, man. We trying to, we trying to bring the city together. We trying to bring everybody to, you know, collab and connect with each other and just uh grow from there you know what i'm saying so it's, it's a lot in the work so we can't really talk about but we just put in that work last night which y'all was here at 10 o'clock and what time did y'all leave six. six in the morning five o'clock in the morning yeah, just work six. nigga i'm talking about these niggas paperboy knocked out like two tracks hey, we karma gonna, knocked hey, out like a couple features right hey, and a couple tracks and shit we was in that bitch motherfucker disrespecting the microphone disrespectful you know what i'm talking about spitting on that bitch <laughs> <laughs> hey but straight up though we was passing that bitch around nah, on my mama i hit two songs astro hit 
two songs, Pit Boy hit two songs, I double back, they ain't try to double back, yo. It's just a lot of work over here, man. People think people think being an artist and being an entrepreneur, or rapper, or whatever is is easy work and it's just for the camera. But these niggas is back here putting putting in the work behind the scenes that you don't see. You know what I'm saying? The shit that that people don't want to put on the camera. They just they going at it, bro. Every day we bring in a lot of talent to the city, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of talent in the city, man. We just trying to bring them together. This is a place where everybody could come, man. Nobody beefs over here, man. I got artists that don't even fuck with each other doing songs with each other just because of the the place that we're at, you know what I'm saying? So really trying to do this shit for the city. The Fuel Fest is some shit that we bring into the city too, man. It's gonna be one of the biggest festivals that y'all seen, man. We got dirt bikes, artists, we got live music, we got food, it's just gonna be crazy. Bouncing castles, I'm talking about slip and slides, bitches in pools, like, I can't even say too much because I don't even want it to get shut down. Yeah, but it's gonna go crazy. It's a fucking go range, bitch. I'm gonna promote some toolies, but not at the show though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, no, we play around though, but real shit, it's gonna be a live ass event. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about no gun ring, but it's gonna be a live ass event. Yes, sir. So for sure, we really gonna shut the city down with that shit. You know, and shout out to bro right here, because he really put it together and chose me the headline. That's really yeah. how we met. And I seen his movement and I respected it. Karma's now a brand ambassador for I don't know. So I'm Baby Rock Bezel. I'm uh I have the A fuck 'em brand. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably seen it everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So he's now a brand ambassador for it. He be rocking our gear everywhere and like we just met and shit like that. So we both see what we trying to do for the city and we trying to grow together, you know what I'm saying? So that's just that's just some other shit for y'all, man. Nobody's on that type of shit, man. One thing I wanna say is straight up, like, if you gonna rap, do that shit. Don't fucking play with that shit. Take that shit serious. We gonna be in these streets. Do that shit. Don't 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 sleep on that shit. Play with that shit. But if you gonna get your hair right, get do what you gotta do. Then do that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my last message for the people. Do that shit. Anything you wanna do, just do that shit. Hey, it little come a 500 hole on the game, bitch.